our God. For he, he will abundantly pardon. Seek Jesus Christ. Turn to Jesus Christ. Believe on the Son of God. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Confess unto the Lord. Confess unto Jesus. Trust in Jesus. Cry out to Jesus because death will come. Death will come. You will die. And you're either in Christ or you're condemned already. And most people in America, they are condemned already because they're not born again. They haven't been changed. Nothing changed. They just found religion. They just found friends at church. But the problem is, is they didn't find Jesus Christ. They didn't find salvation in Jesus Christ. And he said in John chapter number 3, except a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. For that which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. And marvel not that I say unto you that you must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sounds thereof, but cannot tell whence it cometh, or whither it goeth. So is every man that is born of the Spirit, that is born of the Spirit. And as Moses raised up the serpent in the wilderness, so shall the Son of Man be lifted up and whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God, God so loved the world, God so loved the world, and he gave his only begotten Son, Amen. that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You see, most people don't want to read past that. They don't want to see what the latter half of what God has to say after that. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned. He that believeth not is condemned already. He that believeth not is condemned already. Light has come into the world, my friend, and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. And this is the condemnation that light, 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 has come into the world. Light has come into the world. And men love darkness rather than light because their deeds, their deeds were evil. Men love darkness rather than light because of their deeds. Their deeds were evil. Don't fall into the pit. Don't fall into destruction. Don't be deceived by this world. Don't be deceived by this world. But trust in Jesus Christ. Believe on the Son and ye shall have everlasting life. Believe on the Son of God and ye shall have everlasting life. Or will you trust in Him? Will you believe in him? 
Will you follow him? Will you obey him? And if you don't obey him, then you really don't know him. Because those who obey him have truly met him, have truly been saved, have truly been sanctified, justified, washed in the blood, in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. The flood is coming. The flood is coming. The wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. My friend, don't die in your sin. Don't die in your sin. Be redeemed by the blood of Christ. Be redeemed by the Son of God. Be redeemed. Be transformed. Be healed by the Son of God who can wash away your sin. He can cleanse you of sin. He can save you from sin. That you can be set up. You can be set upon a rock. A solid foundation. The solid foundation of Jesus Christ. The solid foundation that does not sink. The solid foundation that will not pass away. It's only found in Christ. And if you don't obey him, my friend, you will perish. Except ye repent. It says, except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish except you repent you must obey it's more than just a profession it's more than just going to church it's about actually living it and the only way to do it is to be born again to be changed to be healed to be saved to be set apart for the work of the ministry for the work of Jesus Christ, a servant of the Lord must obey his master. A servant of the Lord will obey his master. He will do God's will. He will work for God. He will not. He will not live in sin. He will hate sin. He will preach against sin. A servant of the Lord will live for God and do what God says. Not profess to know God, but yet not do what He says. And that's what we have in Ridgeland. That's what we have in Jackson. That's what we have in Madison. That's what we have in Hazelhurst and Brookhaven and all these places in Mississippi. We got a lot of people who profess that they know God, who say that they love God, but they do not obey God. They go to church and God doesn't hear them because they live in sin. And the only way for God to hear you is to come out of your sin. To come out of your sin. To believe on Christ Jesus the Lord that He can set you free from your sin. And He will. He will. He said, He who sins is a servant to sin. And a servant abideth not in the house forever, but a son abideth forever. Therefore, if the Son, if the Son shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. And most people today, they're not free. They're slaves. They can't stop watching porn. They can't stop cursing out of their mouth. They can't stop getting drunk and smoking cigarettes and smoking weed because they're slaves to sin. But my friend, Jesus will set you free if you cry out to Him. If you cry out to Him, if you call upon Him, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Isn't that good? Isn't that good that God, He can save you, He can wash you, He can cleanse you, He can give you hope. Don't you want hope? There's no hope without Jesus. There's no hope without Jesus, my friend. There's no hope without the blood of Jesus. There's no true redemption except you be born again. Will you repent? 
Will you repent? Will you turn? Will you, will you come to the Lord today? Will you come to the Lord today in spirit and in truth? For he seeketh such to worship him in spirit and in truth. And if you don't have the spirit, you don't worship God. If you don't have the spirit, you don't know the Lord. Call upon him. Seek his face. Cry out to him. Cry out to God. Turn to the Lord this day before he rains down fire and brimstone from heaven and destroys this wicked nation, this nation that rebels against God, this stiff-hearted, hard-hearted, proud nation that has turned its ears away from the truth. Will you turn to Jesus today? Jesus said, Fear not them who can kill the body, but I'll forewarn you whom you should fear. Fear him whom after he has killed has power to cast into hell. Yes, I say, fear God. Let this be the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For God will bring every work into judgment including every secret thing whether it be good or whether it be evil it will come god's judgment will come be found in christ be found being about your father's business when that day comes because if you're not he's gonna cut you down and cast you and appoint you with the sinners with the ungodly with the God rejecter, with the blasphemer, with the drunkard, with the murderer, with the baby killers, with the sodomites, with the lesbians, with all those who reject and hate God. Don't let that be you. Be saved today. If God's speaking to you, please repent. Crawl out.